Welcome to another lesson. Today we're going to talk about milestones. Milestone is a good building point for your projects when a particular phase or task is done. And if we set it up all right, the building goes in uh, automatically. And that's something, of course, that everybody likes. I'm going to kind of show you through the whole process. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you here on the proven post section on milestones. I put a big date range. Let's press the search button. And then it will show up there's no items to display. So nothing there. That's good. First, what we're going to do, we're going to set up a milestone. And that's what you do under admin. And you go to finance, accounting, and invoicing. So it's not under projects and tasks. This is a billing code. It has to do with the, the billing side of Autodesk. And that's why we have to go over here. And then we take the last step over here that says milestone. There might be already some in the system. I'm going to show you how to create a new one from this button, the, the pull down menu, and you go to milestone code. You just give it a, a name. Project milestone test. Needs to be active, of course. Then you have a general ledger account. Those should be set up in a different lesson. Uh, in this case, this is for labor because we do a project with a lot of, uh, lot of work. External number, that would be your ledger account in your accounting uh, system. And text category, uh, whatever text category is applicable for your, in this case, I'll just choose the last one. Now, a milestone can only be on the same company to work. It can be on a project, but for it to work, it needs to be on a contract. The milestone can only be listed on a contract. So you have to have a fixed price contract. That's also the only way where it works on. And that fixed price contract needs to be applied to that particular project. Let's say you sold a project of 10,000 uh, in, in labor and you want to split it up in, uh, in two milestones of, of 5,000 each. And every milestone is being invoiced with a particular uh, status of the project with a phase done or a test done. Then it will be built automatically. So I'm going to add that one, and in this case, we're going to do a quick search. And of course, I prepped some stuff, but let's go for a quick search for contracts. And we're going to look for a fixed price contract. As you can see in this system, there are two fixed price contracts. And uh, this one is implementation MFA for the company that says uh, different. And that's the one that I want to choose. That's the one I have set up because in this one, and I have it open already here, there is a project, as you can see over here, project, it says implementation MFA for the same company, different. And what I'm going to verify over here that the contract that has been applied is that same fixed price contract uh, implementation MFA. And also the contract type is listed over here as a fixed price. So the contract and the project have been created. There was some pre-work done. If you want to know how it being done, that, then I have to refer you to other lessons. But uh, the contract was already applied to this uh, project. What we have to do right now is that we have to open up this particular contract over here and we have to uh, set up those milestones. Once this project is open on the, on the side, you will see there's a couple of items and there's a menu item that says milestone. In this case, there's no milestone and we said we're going to do a new billing milestone for that first, first $5,000. We're going to open up that little menu. We can call it a, a name, we'll call it in this case, uh, first uh, billing item. And we said it's going to be $5,000. Now, a milestone can also be invoiced at a particular due date. Uh, if I would say, for example, this, uh, this one to today, it's due today, it won't apply. So for my, uh, my demo, I'm going to try to do a different route. But if you would say you put it on the 28th, that would be tomorrow. In this case, and that due date will come, the billing, stone, uh, billing milestone will automatically become a, a billable item. On the billing code, that's where you select those milestones that you have set up in your system. We're going to select the one that we, uh, we of course, we created right now. It's this project milestone test. Save selection. You can uh, do a description. You can say, uh, see, quote, X, X, X. Maybe that's where it comes from. And we leave it still by the status in progress. And here on the bottom, that's where you see there's a fast task association. So we now really uh, tie it together with the project. Although the contract has been tied to the, uh, to the project already, we still need to uh, tie that, that milestone in there as well. And we tie it to the, the, the task that I have. I only have one task. We apply to that one. 
And I'll say set the milestone status to ready to build when fa phase or task is completed. Now, right now, I know that task is not completed. So once I press save here right now, uh, there should still be no billable item. Now, there's a little uh, pop-up message that says, do you want to wish to uh, create one that's outside of the context date range, which in this case is okay. Sometimes you have that the date range is short. You could change the date range. Right now, it's saving this milestone. And as you can see over here, now we have a milestone on this particular project. If I quickly go back to my approve and post section, and I go for the milestones, nothing should pop up. Perfect. Great. Nothing there. Now I go into the project and I go to the schedule and there should be only that particular task that we had over here. Yeah. And we see now that this is, that is new. You can put a couple of tasks in there. We can put some time entries in there, but in this case, I'm just going to do the quick route. I'm going to click on the hamburger menu and I say, this task is complete. By completing this task, um, reason I'll just put in complete. By completing this task, that should trigger now to the milestone saying, hey, the phase task is completed. I need to build this one out. Now, let's see if Autodesk did exactly what we wanted it to do. I go back to the approve and post section, and press search, and voila, there it is. Now my, uh, my milestone is there and it's ready for approve and post. And this is very handy because now uh, there's no need for people to say, hey, I finished so many tasks or hey, this is due date. If you set up the project correctly from the get-go, those milestones will work and uh, the billing uh, people, they will get it automatically into their queue and they, they can approve from here. I'm not going to show you the, the rest of the sequence from here with approve and post because that's basically for another video that's usually maybe for a different person. But this way is, uh, this is the way how you set up a milestone and automatically billing. Remember, it's always a fixed price con contract that needs to be uh, set it up with, that needs to be applied to the contract. And of course, it can only be on the same company. Keep those things in mind. Uh, billing item can be either way with a phase completion or a task completion or with a due date. All of those ones are uh, applicable. If you have any questions more about this, uh, please join our uh, private Facebook uh, group and place a comment there. Thank you.